Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to XPS Tech. I'm Vineet and the new release of Dippin Linux, one of the most attractive looking Linux distro is out now. The new version number is 20.5 and apart from the regular updates to the softwares and the usual bug fixes, this time there are a couple of new features introduced including the facial recognition feature for biometric authentication into the system. Deep in Linux is the first Linux distro to bring this feature and in today's video we are going to check it out in detail along with other changes introduced with the new release. Alright, so let's jump right in. Alright, so the ISO of the latest release can be downloaded from the Dipin website. You have multiple download options including the option to download via torrent. The total size of ISO is 3.2 gigs which is the highest size of Dipin Linux till date and also pretty high for a Linux distro. Dipin has been adding new features with every incremental releases and that has taken a toll on the ISO size. The other reason for high ISO size is you get most standard desktop applications and all Dipin specific apps pre-installed out of the box. So you basically have a ready to go system with just the default installation. All right, the installation of Dipin Linux is pretty straightforward. You get all the standard installation options including the option to encrypt the disk right at the installation stage. If you're trying to install it on a Windows machine and want a dual boot setup, choose advanced option on the partition screen and give a root partition, a swap partition and a boot partition. Once done, start the installation. Now, depending on your system hardware, it takes around eight to 10 minutes for the installation to complete. Once done, reboot the system. Now after first reboot, you get few more options as initial setup like system language, keyboard layout, time zones and also an option to create an account. Here you can set up a username and password for the system. Once done, it will give you the desktop and you will be greeted with the welcome app with a quick demo video of the system and also lets you personalize the system. The first option is the layout of the bottom bar. Now this is the fashion mode of bottom bar. The efficient mode will turn it to a windows taskbar sort of look. Next is the running mode which also has two options. Effect mode will give you translucency of menus and windows and a overall more attractive and modern looking system. Normal mode is plain without any effects but it is significantly faster. Next is the icon theme. I'm going to keep the default bloom icon theme and that's all. Alright, so this is the desktop of Dipin 20.5, which is not very different from the previous versions. You have the usual Dipin desktop with the taskbar at the bottom. The taskbar contains the standard set of elements, which is the launcher, the show desktop and multitask view icons on the left, pinned apps at the center and system tray on the right. Now one new addition here is under the system tray where you get a new grand search icon. Now this lets you do a system wide search or as Dipin likes to call it a grand search for any text, files, apps or even search the web. Now it is similar to spotlight on Mac or Cortana search on Windows. It's a pretty nifty tool to quickly get to a specific file or an app. The list of places where the app looks for the search text is under the settings of Grand Search. You can manually enable or disable individual folders if you want to have a restricted search. Now I've been playing with it for a few days and I can say it's pretty quick and definitely better than what I expected from the first iteration. It feels pretty mature and definitely gets the job done. All right, now moving on. For those of you new to Deepin Linux, Deepin is a Linux distro from China and it's based on Debian Linux. Therefore, it is considered pretty stable. The Linux kernel in the latest release is 5.15.25. Deepin has also updated the system D to the recently released system D250. All right, so next new addition is the pin screenshots. Now deep in screenshot is already a very advanced screenshot tool with tons of features, including the OCR feature to extract text from an image. Now with this new pin screenshot feature, you can take a screenshot of any portion of the screen and then there's an option to keep it pinned onto your screen and it will stay on top of other windows, just like sticky notes. You can move the screenshot to any position on your screen. You can also resize the screenshot 
Now this is helpful if you are working on multiple things and want to quickly take screenshot of an important piece for quick reference. Alright now let's get to the highlight of this release which is the introduction of facial recognition feature to unlock the system. Now we have seen this feature on Windows as Windows Hello and also on mobile phones. Now Deepin has brought this popular feature to Linux which is very exciting. So let's see how it works. To set up facial recognition, you need to first add faces of yourself or any authorized person. You'll find the option under biometric authentication in settings. Click on add face and the system camera will turn on and grab a picture of you. The process is super quick and you almost feel like there's something wrong. Maybe the software has not taken your face properly. As we are used to the facial recognition software on our mobile phones which have a little lengthy process. But here it is super quick. Now you can add up to 5 different faces. Ok now that we have added the faces, let's test this. I am going to lock the system. Now there are 2 options to unlock. One with the key symbol which is to authenticate via regular password. The second one with face emoji is for facial authentication and as soon as you press it, it will start the camera and if the face matches, you get the message verification successful. Now it has successfully authenticated you. Now you just need to press the lock button or press enter and that's all. You have your desktop. Now to be honest, though it seems little gimmicky and you may think that you can easily break this with a photo or video of your face but I've tried both the tricks and it doesn't work. So uh, I'm not sure how hardened this feature is but it is at least secure from rookie attacks. And the other really cool usage of this feature is in the terminal. Now when you run any command where you need to authenticate yourself with your password like sudo update with facial recognition, there's no need to type in the password. Just wait for a second and it will automatically authenticate you via facial authentication and it proceeds with the command. Now this for me is really cool and will make working on terminal a lot faster. Alright next change is in the app store. It now supports multi finger gestures. There's also an option ask for an update in the app listing. This feature allows you to request upstream or an app developer to update an app. There are also few changes to the file manager as well. Now you can enable or disable the display of file extension in file name from settings. You can also include special characters in file names. These are the special characters that are not allowed in file names. Alright so that was all the major changes in the latest version of Deepin 20.5. If you are a Deepin Linux fan, uh, kindly share your thoughts on the latest release in the comment section below. And also if you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to XPS Tech channel for more such videos in future. Alright, so that was all for today. Thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you next time.